What's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another DIY. <laughs> It's been a little minute since I did a DIY. I didn't have any ideas, nothing was flowing. TikTok wasn't giving me anything to create, but my friend hit me up to do a Polaroid just for her, the infamous sweetie one, if y'all know. That's my type. Yeah, I'm gonna be attempting to make that. Her shoot is actually today at 9 p.m. and it is two o'clock right now. So I have like six, five hours. I wanna kinda of make it short so I still have time to get there because I'm actually gonna film her at the shoot. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, now let's get into this video. Okay guys, so the tools that you'll need are 50 Polaroid prints, a grommet toolkit, key rings, and also chandelier clips. I'll link everything below in the description. So you wanna start off gathering and separating all your Polaroid pictures. Yeah, don't even mind my nails. I know they need done, just mind your business. So you wanna start gathering them into rows. Obviously, you wanna put the pretty pictures in the front because that's gonna be the front of the dress and the rest of them in the back. Not saying the rest of them aren't pretty, but your most liked pictures in the front. You can also use a Polaroid camera and use your pictures from there, or I will link a website down below that my customer actually used and it was about 30 bucks for 50 prints. All right, now since all these pictures are lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my grommet tool and we're gonna get ready to start punching holes in the pictures. But before we get started, I'm gonna show y'all how to even use the grommet. So you wanna take the smaller part, I don't know if it's called a grommet, I think it is. The smaller part, it goes on the bottom and it's actually a magnet, so it'll stay as soon as you put it on there. Yo, I've been saying grommet this whole time, I just realized these are eyelets. So you wanna take the bigger part of the eyelet and put that on the nose side of the grommet, which would be the opposite side. And it is a magnet again, so it'll stay. Then you wanna grab your Polaroid and just punch it like a hole punch. Let me just tell y'all one thing. This tool has saved my life. I don't know if y'all used to watch my old videos. I know y'all remember. I used to hammer, hammer, get the tool. Link is in the description. You're gonna wanna punch a hole in the four corners of each Polaroid picture. Don't get too close to the edge because mind you, this is gonna be the hole that holds up all the pictures on the dress. Because as you can see in example A, it has already happened to me. Just as soon as you thought you got somewhere, you really ain't getting nowhere for real. So be prepared to do this for a whole hour. Go ahead and even take some breaks, eat a couple snacks, do what you gotta do. 10,000 hole punches later, and we made it, y'all. We made it! Now, this is the part where we link the top row only with the key chains. We want to put the bigger ones up at the top because that is going to be where the dress is all held together. And this is how it should look. I'm going to go all the way across the top row. And this is the top row completed. Again, you wanna make sure you're putting the keychains up on the top row because this is the chest part. And one more thing, you wanna add a keychain to each side of the top part because that's what we're gonna use to lace it up in the back. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your chandelier clips. This is gonna be the key to holding your dress up together. All four eyelets, top and bottom row will be all connected together. All empty eyelets will be connected to a chandelier clip and you're actually going to connect each picture above to the one below it. After you achieve that, you're going to grab another chandelier clip and connect the top right with the bottom left. So all together in between each Polaroid picture, there should be five chandelier clips connecting it all together. Now you're gonna have to do this for the whole dress. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. But now let's finally see it on my customer. Oh my God! Wow! Okay guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
subscribe and tune to my next video. And I'll see you in the other one. Peace.